Hey guys, welcome to another maths tutorial. Uh, in this lesson you're going to learn about how to balance equations which is a very important technique in solving algebraic equations and by the end of this lesson you should be able to use this technique to solve almost every uh, maths equation. So to start off I'm going to illustrate the concept of balancing equations using a diagram and this is a picture of a balanced scale uh, as you can see and let's say I put an object on the left hand side uh, let's say I put an apple on the left hand side so sorry if I'm not a very good drawer now on the right hand side obviously I need to put something that weighs equally to the apple on the right hand side in order for this scale to be balanced so let's say I just put some weights on the right hand side you can imagine this to be whatever it is you want to be so once the right hand side has the same weight as the apple then the scale will be balanced now if we were going to do something on one side either side of this balance scale let's say I add some weight on the left now in order to keep this balance I will have to add the same thing on the right actually let's do it with a different color so you can see it if I add some weights on the left using uh, this color now obviously the scale is going to tilt to the left unless I add the same thing on the right hand side and now it's going to be balanced now the same thing works for mathematical equations amazingly enough if we have for example x equals 10 you can imagine the equal sign as the scale so the equal sign is a scale and x is whatever is on the left 10 is whatever is on the right now if we add 2 to x on the left x plus 2 then you have to do the same thing on the right which is 10 plus 2 so you can then simplify this as x plus 2 equals 12 okay now what if we want to multiply the left hand side by 3 and the right hand side by 3 then it becomes x plus 2 in brackets times 3 equals 12 times 3 so then it becomes x plus 2 in brackets times 3 equals 36 now because we have done the same thing on both sides here and there to make it x plus 2 equals 12 these two equations are equivalent right why are they equivalent because x, x is equal to 10 in both of these equations right in the third line here x is still equal to 10 and then the same thing happening here okay we got 10 plus 2 is 12 times 3 is 36 so x is equal to 10 this is true for all of these equations that I've written below it each line is a different is another equation that is equivalent to the first one okay now let's uh, try to solve an equation using the opposite of what we have done so if I told you now uh, 2 times x plus 5 equals 10 and I want you to work backwards to find out what x is so using the balancing equation technique we know that we can do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides because the equation will stay equal now the trick to solving 
this equation is we want to do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign. So let's just try taking away 5 on both sides. So 2x plus 5 equals 10. Now I'm going to take 5 on both sides. So take 5, take 5. Now what's happening here is plus 5 and minus 5 these two numbers next to each other will actually give you 0. They cancel each other out. If you imagine 5 plus 5 minus 5 they cancel each other out to 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. So on the left hand side this is gone and we have 2x left on the left hand side and on the right hand side 10 minus 5 is 5 so 2x equals 5 and now we're going to continue with solving this equation by dividing both sides by 2 if we divide the left hand side by 2 and we divide the right hand side by 2 then 2x divided by 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so it becomes 1x equals 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so x equals 2.5 and we have just solved this equation using the balancing method now a lot of students say oh I can solve that equation without using the balancing technique I can just tell x is 2.5 I can just tell x is 2.5 by looking at it well that's not the point of this lesson. The point of this lesson is to teach you the balancing technique which you can then use later on to solve algebraic equations that are a lot harder that you won't be able to tell by simply looking. Okay, let's do another one. 3x plus 3 equals 12 and uh, we're going to start off by uh, taking away 3 on both sides so if you take away 3 on both sides plus 3 and minus 3 cancel each other out so you're left with 3x on the left and on the right 12 minus 3 is 9 3x equals 9, so let's divide it by 3 on both sides. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 1x equals 9 divided by 3 is 3. So x equals 3. Now you don't need to write the 1, so we can simply rub out the 1 there and make it x equals 3 as the answer. So, so far we're doing equations that are very easy. Now let's try a slightly harder one. What if we had something like uh, 2x plus 5 equals 7x minus 15. Now I just made this up so the numbers might get a bit ugly. Uh, but still, this is one that you can't tell in your head just by looking at it. Right? So already we're doing equations that are more difficult than you think. So firstly, what we want to do is make all the x's go on one side and all the numbers go on the other side. And we do this by balancing. So the first thing we're going to do is minus 2x on both sides. So let's try that. 2x plus 5 equals 7x minus 15. And we're going to minus 2x on both sides. So 2x minus 2x cancel each other out. We're left with 5 on the left. And 7x take 2x becomes 5x. 5x minus 15. Okay, so we've moved all the x's onto the right. Let's move all the numbers onto the left. So let's uh, add 15 on both sides. Let me use a different color. So plus 15, plus 15, 
Remember, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So minus 15 plus 15 cancel each other out. We're left with 5x equals 20. And now it's going to get easier and easier. Let's divide both sides by 5. And we will get x equals 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So that's how you solve that equation. Okay, I hope uh, from this tutorial you guys learned how to balance equations. I'll see you in the next tutorial.